I love you, but I no, can't you don't. do it. No, you don't. I'll just talk to you. No, you don't. Okay, have a good shower. Showering yet. Oh, okay, bye. Everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I'm here with an unhaul video. I have a box that I usually put my unhaul books in and it is hella full this time around. So without further ado, let us get started. So I have a rule on my channel where if a book is rated three stars or lower, I give it off to the thrift store because I don't need it on my shelves because I'll never revisit it. So that's what a lot of these books are. I also did like a little book exchange kind of thing with a booktuber named Victoria Shaz. I'll leave her link down below. She also has a Twitch, so check that out as well. She's getting rid of a bunch of books and so she texted me and was like, hey, come over because she lives literally like right around the corner from me. So she said that I could take whatever I wanted. So I took a bunch of her books where I already owned the book, but she had a different version of the book, so I wanted my sets to match, so I stole her stuff. So that's also a couple of those. So, so I guess I'll start with those because they're a lot more positive than my one, two, and three star books. So the first one is Cress by Marissa Meyer. I owned a paperback copy. She had a hardback copy. Most of my Lunar Chronicles are hardback, so the only one that isn't is Cinder, so I want them to match, you know? Next is Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. My two other in the series are soft covers. She had a soft cover. I had a hard cover of this, so I needed them to match. The next one I picked up from Vic was a copy of Uglies by Scott Westerfield. This is my version, obviously. Um, it did not match the three other books that I had in that series, and they were like really small, compact books. I'm not going to pull them out because they're all the way over there, but this one was like huge compared to the other one, so it just kind of bothered me to have one that didn't go. And the way that I have them on my shelf, they're like stacked like this, so this one's like huge, and then all the like smaller books are below it, and it just looked really stupid and it pissed me off, so now they all match and I'm happy. And then she had hardcover copies of Passenger by Alexander Bracken and Wayfarer, so I have a paperback copy. And I didn't own the second book in the series, so I stole her copies. And I'm probably going to end up giving like a lot of these to my friend Nicole because she is also a reader and I don't know if she's read this, so she's going to get a really pretty nice book that's never been read before. And then the other two that I picked up from her, I thought that I had hardbacks of the other book, the first book in the series, but I had a full paperback set so I don't need these obviously, but they are The Heart of Betrayal and The Beauty of Darkness by Mary E. Pearson. They are book two and book three in the Kiss of Deception series, but like I said, I thought I had a hardcover of the first book. I don't. They're all paperback, so I don't need these. And now moving on to my three star or lower books. The first I'm getting rid of a whole series that I own. Um, I only own the first four of the series and I read the first three and I really didn't like them so I'm getting rid of them. They are the Charlie Davidson series. The first is First Grave on the right, second is Second Grave on the left, and the third is Third Grave Dead Ahead. They're all by Dorinda Jones. I gave this a 1, 1 1.5, 2. So I mean like they are getting better but I had the first four. I just have not <laughs> had the motivation to read book four yet but... Um, yeah, they're not good books, so they're going off to the thrift store because I don't want to deal with them. <laughs> the next book that I have is The Book of Blood and Shadow. This is by Robin Wasserman, and I give this a 3 out of 5 stars. It's very similar to, like, The Da Vinci Code, but for young adults. I just was not the biggest fan. Like, it was entertaining for the time, but it was also very boring at times. So, not a good balance of exciting and boring, in my opinion, so I'm getting rid of it. The next one I have is The Safest Lies by Megan Miranda, and I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars as well. It's a thriller book, but most of it was very predictable. I was bored for a lot of it. It took a very long time for it to actually get exciting, and then I was invested in the story, but that first half of the book was boring to me, so I don't want to revisit it ever. The next book I have, I really hated, so I gave it a 1 out of 5 stars. It's Going Bovine by Libba Bray. It was very, like, teenage boy humor, and I'm just not a huge fan of those kinds of books, so I'm not a fan. A lot of people do like this book, so off to the thrift store. Hopefully somebody likes it more than I do. 
And then I have It Will Fall by Sarah Heron. I was sent this by the publisher in exchange for my honest review. So that video is actually up. I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars, so the rule is 3 out of 5. It goes to the thrift store, so it's going to the thrift store. And then the final book is actually a DNF, and I rarely, like hardly ever, will DNF a book. But this one I just could not do. I tried to listen to it on audiobook, and it was just so convoluted and just too confusing, and I would just don't have the energy for it, but it is The Ruin of Kings by Jen Lyons, and I was really excited about it because it's dragons. And when I first got it, it was like right after I read The Last Name Sara, and I was like super into the whole dragon shit that was going on, but couldn't do it. Not a fan. Alright everybody, so that was my unhaul video for the day. Let me know down below if you read any of these and what you thought of them, and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Yeah.